Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at three different packages to help you style your console UI. The first package we have here is Aura, and it's a package for making a spinner. So the spinner is pretty simple. When you get the package here, you provide a name, and then we can go ahead and start it immediately, or we can go ahead and run this method at any time we want to start it. And then we can go ahead and specify stuff like the color and there's all these different colors to pick from. There's more properties, but I won't go over the details. So you can go ahead and find those on the NPM page, and I will leave a link to that as well down below. So we have a timeout, so we can see the spinner for one second, and then we'll go ahead and run this method on it, which will stop it with a success. We can also stop it with a warning, or stop it with a fail. But let's go ahead and run this, and you can see how that would look. And let's try with the warning instead. And let's try with the fail instead. And there you go. So hopefully you can see a few uses for this package. I certainly can. But let's go ahead and take a look at the next package. Now the next package is a very simple package. It's called Boxy and it just makes a box. So again, it returns a function here and you provide the text that you want to be within the box. And then you can provide different parameters like padding, marking, border style. And you can go ahead and find more of these properties on the NPM page. But if we just go ahead and see this, you can go ahead and see that it makes these two different boxes here. And they are pretty useful if you want to do some kind of styling. But let's take a look at the last package we have today. Now, the last package we have here is called Easy Table, and it's a package that can help you make tables. So up here we have a list of products, and that is just an array of objects with some different properties on it. Then this easy table here returns a class which we make a new instance of and then we go ahead and use a for loop to loop through each product and then we just call table.cell and the name of the cell and then the value and then we we'll go ahead and do that for each of our cells and then we can go ahead and call this new row which will go ahead and make a new row and then there's three different table types or styles and this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one i know the naming is a bit weird but this will go ahead and give you three different styles and if we go ahead and run this you can see that this is the first style which is this one here and this one is the next style which is this one here and this is the third style which is this one here so if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.